Hey guys, and welcome back to That LP Show. The name of the game is The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword for the Wii. Let's go find some sacred water here in the Skyview Temple. Yeah, it would be, wouldn't it? Okay, so we gotta go all the way to where we fought the boss. Which in this place was gear him. And we have stronger enemies. And a few new ones. Oh, Deku Baba. Eat Beetle. No, 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 come on. Let's cut our way through some webs. Oh, come on. You can't reach the floor. You can't reach the webs on the floor. Nice. If only there was a way to extend the length of our sword. Look, butterflies. Let's dig in here. And eh, nothing. Let's catch a few of these butterflies. Why not? No, net. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, I know you. Yep, that's me. I saved you, didn't I? Treasure hunting, huh? Uh, if you call water treasure. I guess to people who live in a barren desert, it would be. Or on a volcano. Really? Really? Give me a mirror and a wet cloth so I can wipe it off. Stone guy, huh? He's talking about Gorko. Yeah, and he's, um... Telling me about what I'm going to do right now. Yes, but I have a magic harp. Okay, so what he was talking about is... Well, let's catch these butterflies first. And get it described to us. Any more? Eh, yeah, they all ran away. They got tired of Mole Guy. Anyway, yeah, you saw there were some butterflies here, so let's play the harp. Are we gonna make a gossip stone appear? No, it's a magic picture on the wall. Hey, you're back. Yes, I am. Um, I'd say it does. <laughs> His name is Rocky Fatass. Get it right. Okay, so this is a goddess wall. This is one of those things Gorko was talking about earlier in the game. What we want to do here is whenever we find one, we raise up our sword to do a skyward strike. And just like the gate that led us into Lake Floria, we draw on it. And we can draw several different pictures. Um, <clears throat> we could draw a circle, and that would actually make some bombs appear. We could draw a heart to make some hearts appear. Later in the game, we can draw an arrow to make arrows appear for when we have our bow. Yeah, big spoiler, we get a bow in a, in a Zelda game, so yeah, we can do that. <clears throat> We can draw a rupee to get some rupees, and we can also draw a Triforce in order to make fairies appear. Um, ah, I would get some rupees right about now since I'm good on everything else and I don't really need any fairies. But since the Triforce can be one of the hardest things to draw on here because you have to do it all in one stroke, I'm going to show you how to draw that. You start from the top, go down, go over to the side a little bit, go up to the side that you just drew... Over this way, down, over to the side over here, and then go up to finish it. And now we drew a picture of a Triforce. We should make some fairies appear, and we don't really need them. I mean, I have an empty bottle to catch one, but I need that empty bottle for when we find the sacred water. Oh boy, we got Froaks here. Ooh, we got Froaks here, and somebody's shooting at me. Get rid of this guy. There we go. Hello. Whoa. Oh, yeah, I'm getting shot at. Who are you going to call? Oh, that sucks. Get out of here. Into the water. Okay, we got a new enemy over there. Well, a slight variation of an old enemy. Okay, let's, let's get back up. I didn't mean to do that. There we go. 
Let's get close enough to scan him. Can you reach him, Fi? Target lock. Green Bokoblin Archer. This variety of Bokoblin inhabits caves or outdoor environments. It has archery skills, roughly equivalent to the surface-dwelling red Bokoblin. Also similar to the surface-dwelling red Bokoblin, the green Bokoblin obsesses about stylish undergarments. They're all panty raiders. This panty raider has a bow and arrow, so let's run away from him for right now. Not that we can't kill him, but... Well, actually we can. Hey! Let's get some distance. Yeah, they got some pretty good range. There's a Frog Knight right next to him, so now he is done. All right, so let's head on to the... Oh, oh, but see, it is locked. So we're going to have to do a little bit more traveling after getting this Amber Relic. We're going to have to do some searching for a key now. All right, let's try this door. Cuts with some webbing. Oh, here's our mole friend again. With his emo haircut. Over one eye. Like a weasel, huh? More like a mole. Oh, you lost a key. <laughs> oh, I can make a few jokes about that. No. It would just be your ticket through a locked door. Okay, well, he said he buried it around here somewhere. And he said it in red, which means that it's important. Anything that people say that's in red. Even in real life, if somebody tells you something in red, listen. Let's get rid of that guy. Okay, we want to swim down here. I'm ignoring that Amber Relic because I don't want to deal with that Froak right now. I've already taken some damage. And if we come up here and dig in this hole... Yeah, we were unable to dig in holes last time we were here. And we get the small key, so now we can open up that door. So let's get back to the main chamber. And I think the Bokoblin Archer is pretty much the only new enemy we're running into in this area. Other than that, it's just stronger enemy arrangements like these. Uh, what are these guys called again? I'm not scanning them again. I'm sure somebody will remember. Oh, come on. Shield Bash. Low red. There we go. Oh, come on. There, you die now. Stupid worm thing. And we got some keys up there. I know they're going to come down at me. Yep. There we go. You know what? This guy kind of looks like Triclide from Super Mario 2. And I'm going to act like Mauser. How about some bombs? Oh, oh, he's angry. He's angry. Come on. Okay. I was going to try to blow him up just to be funny, but that didn't work out. It worked on my practice run. There we go. Refill on bombs. And I believe last time right here, there were some just regular uh, Deku Babas. Now there's uh, Quadra Babas sitting over here. That same strategy as last time. Just let loose with the beetle. Cut down three in the middle. And as we, uh, as we uh, walk over the rope, the two on the side won't be able to reach me, so don't worry about them. There were Deku, ba there were Quadra Babas down at the bottom if you fell down, even in the uh, first trip through this dungeon. So that's why you want to avoid going down there, because they're pretty strong for you at that point in the game. You got to have mad skills. Okay. Oh, did I get you too? No. All right, that was easy. Let's dig up some rupees. I'm pretty sure there's a hole in around here with some hearts. Oh, red rupee. There we go. Very nice. This should have hearts in it. There we go. Now I have full health again. All 
All right, we're almost there. Okay, let's stay in this area right here. There's some Bokoblin archers over there. We got a pretty easy way to take care of them. Deploy the beetle, and there's a bomb right here. Try to avoid getting hit. And okay, well, <laughs> I would have just dropped the bomb in between them and let it blow them up, but um, it seems like they did a good enough job of just shooting the bomb and killing themselves. If you don't have your beetle powered up, that can actually be pretty tricky, and you want to kind of grab the bomb and go around them and flank them. Oh, oh, oh. Don't want to run out of stamina on the rope. That would be bad. You again. Well, there's nothing in here. I emptied all the treasure when I came here the first time. Well, water's a good thing. I'm looking for some of that. Not just any water. Sacred water. Well, I, I know a water dragon that wants water. Well, see ya. You might want to take some water with you, seeing as that you live on a volcano. Okay, nothing in here but hearts. All right, let's go through the door. Oh, I should have got my bombs ready. Well, at least we don't have to do the Professor Layton puzzle. Oh, boy. And it's boss time once more, although we're fighting somebody different now. Yeah, we're fighting three Stalfos. So, okay. They can be a little tricky. What we want to do is we want to switch to our bombs. And we want to time this just right. Don't throw it at them. We want to set it and have them kind of walk into it. Come on. Let's see if we can get it to blow up all three of them at the same time. Very nice. All right. Two spin attacks ought to do it, and then you want to back away and repeat the process and just whittle them down. All right, come on. Get towards the bomb. All right, run past them because you don't want to walk too far away or they'll get away from the bomb. Oh, that sucked. Come on, get up, get up. Spin attack, spin attack. Okay. All right, I probably could have gotten two in if I hadn't gotten hit by my own bomb. And drop it. And run past them. Come on, guys. Stay grouped around it. Everybody stick around the bomb. The bomb is your friend. The bomb's not my friend, though. Okay, I'm doing quite badly. There we go. Come on, stick around the bomb, guys. Stick around the bomb. Don't get blown up by it again, Link. All right, so we're down to one of them, so we can just fight him the traditional way. Wait for the opening, and then swing your sword. Oh. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. All done. Oh. Missed out on a blue rupee there. Oh, there's one. Okay, that was easy enough. Oh, oh there it is. And if you run out of bombs in this area, okay, well, first of all, since I'm low on health, they're going to have hearts. Oh, there's a bomb. Yeah, there's bombs and hearts in these uh, jars over the side of the battlefield or arena or room or whatever you want to call it. So if you run low on bombs, that's where you can get some. Okay, here we are back at the Skyview Spring. All right. Place still looks nice. And if you forgot the goddess chest below that statue the first time around, here's another chance that you have to get it without going, you know, out of your way. And looks like the sacred water is over there. All right, let's pull out my empty bottle. And scoop up some water. Now we can heal her boo-boo. All right. And we just get warped back out. I wish we could have just gotten warped into there. Hello, Moblin. I really don't have time to play with you. Oh! 
Maybe I should show this off though. Uh, I edited out my trip back to here, but there's a goddess. There's a gossip stone right here. If you, you know, if you care. All right, quickest way back. Let's just go to the sky. I'm not gonna edit any of this out. I mean, I'm just gonna go to the sky. I'm gonna turn around. I'm gonna drop right back in. Okay, turn around. Let's flip a big Yui. And Hero go down to hole. Okay, we want to drop back down into Floria Waterfall. It's the closest to the water dragon. All right, let's, uh, oh. Oh, hello, little friend. How are you doing? You want to be my potion? Yay! I got a fairing grasshopper, another one. How many is that now? Okay, that's my fourth one. That's not very impressive. Okay. Oh, if you want to avoid being my potion grasshopper, you must get the hell out of the way of my net. But I was sneaky, too sneaky. I can steal beans from hands and stuff. <laughs> oh, I hear a poor dog howling outside my window. Oh, he wants his mama or daddy or whoever owns him. Hello, got your Epsom salt. Oh, he sounds so miserable. Focus, focus. I'm a dog lover, by the way. I also like cats. Pour it into the basin, Link. Set into the basin, not onto the floor. I guess it works. Is that a basin or a washing machine? Oh god, she's stuck on the spin cycle. Whoa, that's a huge bitch. That must be some good stuff. Behold the majesty of Farron. You know, I have a name. No, it wasn't a coincidence. It was a prophecy. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're doing me a favor so I can do you a favor and save the world. What's she doing? Is it a he or a she? I don't know. It looks like it's got long Lee press-on nails and sounds kind of like a deep-voiced woman, so I'm going to go with a she. I'm pretty sure they mentioned it at some point in the game. May maybe Yerbal told me. Ah, it's our next dungeon. Well, wouldn't be a dungeon without monsters. No, no trouble at all. Because I can swing my sword, sword. Once again, I have a name. Okay, so in order to get into there, we want to dive down, then up, then spin. Ow! I can face plant into the stairs there. Oh, it's drippy and wet. Oh, it's an underground wet place. Is this a sewer level? Is this the game's requisite sewer level? Oh. Well, I guess it's not as bad as an ice level. Ooh, nice. The ancient cistern, huh? What's a cistern? I'm gonna have to look that up. 
Oh, well, looks like we got a new enemy here. Kind of looks like Ho-Oh from Pokemon. Not that I play too much Pokemon. I just, I know Ho-Oh because it, it's, it's really popular. You know how sometimes you have those uh, things that are popular from something that you don't usually pay attention to, but it's so popular that even you know it not being a fan. Oh, so great statue. So this is the great statue, and we're trying to get a secret order of the temple, huh? All right, let's check the back, then the rear, because they don't want to say butt in a Nintendo game, but it's okay to have a flushing toilet and a toilet hand. And then the back of the right hand, then the back of the left hand. So let's check them in that order of this big statue that we're standing on. Okay, so there's a hand, but we want to check the back first because that's the order that it's giving us. Come on. Whoa, 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 okay, okay, okay. Went a little overboard right there. All right. Let's check out the back. Here we are. Okay, so we want to look at this symbol right here. We don't want to pull out the sword. We want to look at this symbol right here and pay attention to the blue part. It's pointing up. So keep that in mind. Up. All right, now we want to check the thing's butt. I'm calling it a butt because I'm too I'm too manly to call it a rear or a keister or a popo. Scratch that. I'll call it a popo. Okay, so here we are on the on the rear end butt of the statue and the sim the pl the blue part of the symbol is pointing down. So remember that. Up then down. All right. Now we want to check the back of the right hand. So let's go around. And that's the left hand right there. So let's ignore that for now. Okay, come on, let's do our little dolphin swim. All right, ah, oh, look, there's the right hand. We got a silver rupee on it. We want to line up with it just right, and as soon as we reach the hand, do a spin, because it's going to close on us, and if we're not fast enough, we're going to get squashed by the hand, and that's not a good thing. Okay, so let's look at the back of this hand. Turn around, and looks like the symbol is pointing to the left. Up, down, left. All right, got it. All right, let's go up. We'll dive down after we get some air back. There's another silver rupee. Let's line ourselves up. I mean, you don't have to get these, but, you know, it's a good opportunity to, you know, get 200 rupees in one go, so it would be foolish to pass it up. All right, now let's look. Okay, it's pointing to the left. I mean, right. So up, down, left, right. B-A, start. That's the Konami code. Come on. Oh. All right. Ah, oh, some green choo-choos. Let's take them out. How dare you be a blob in my presence. Oh, hey. I have enough of you. Come on. That's all I need is for that thing to attack me in the back because the little jelly blob tutorial. Hello. Slice and dice. Oh, another one. Okay, let's open up this gate, this gate right here. Okay, looks like we're leaping down, and yeah, whenever you land on one of those lily pads really hard, its thorny side comes up, and we need something later in order to switch them back. Oh, there's some sculptulas. Let's take them down. Um, you can come down any moment now. Coming down? All right, vertical slice, and fatal blow. So, you're not much of a threat. Oh, come on. Get down here, you. I guess he's afraid of me because I make such quick work of them. All right. Let's clear this out. What do you say? Strike the gemstone pointing in four directions wisely. The way will only open for one who knows the secret order. But we do know the secret order. We looked at the statue, so we want to strike this blue gem in that order. So, strike from up, then down, then strike it on the left side, and then the right side. Of 
There you go. So that's the combination that we were learning from all those symbols around the giant goddess statue. Okay, what do we have in here? Some giant spiders. Let's... Oh, no, that's not going to work for me. I got a better way of doing this. Come on. Cut you down. And then cut you down. And they're just going to fall into the water and die. Spiders can't swim, you know. All right, I think I saw a amber relic up here, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab that. And drop down. Well, I don't want to drop down because if I land on this lily pad too hard, then it's going to flip over. Okay, so we want to get into that little tunnel right here, but as you can see, it's blocked by those thorns on that lily pad. So we need to find a way to flip that over. So how we're going to do that is take out that spider first. And now that we're at a higher elevation, we can just jump down onto the lily pad and it flips over, revealing our path. Okay, what do we got here? Eh, three rupees. Why not? Like H.C. Bailey always says, it's better than a guardian acorn. We don't have those in this game. Thank goodness. Oh, more soggy wood. It's no match for the spin attack. All right. Oh, we have a key. Okay. So, how do we get back to the main entrance, you may ask? Well, we have this geyser here. I don't want to know where that water is getting pumped from, so nobody tell me. So, I guess the presence of water being piped around is an indicator that this is, in fact, the sewer level of Skyward Sword. So we're just going to have to deal with that. And Spoonie's going to have to deal with it, if he's played this game. He seems to be a little turned off by Zelda. Which, I don't know, I don't understand how you could be turned off by Zelda. I mean, sometimes she's hot, especially in Twilight Princess. Okay, so let's unlock this door. What's that thing? Looks like the key on the back of a wind-up toy. Oh, that is... That is a tall something up there. Oh, hey, is that a... Is that a Professor Layton puzzle door right there? It looks all flowery. Yes, yes, the camera showed me already. Thank you anyway, Fi. All right, so we can't get up there. So I guess the only place to go is down. But that's going to have to wait until next time. And until next time, thank you for watching That LP Show. Have a one that is good.